All right, Popo Anime tier list featuring all these bullshit ha! shows. Some of these I'm gonna have to skip because I'm not deeply familiar with them, but I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. Even the ones that I'm like only a little bit familiar with, I'm gonna try to rate them. All right, High School DxD, I gotta put it in haven't watched. I haven't watched it. What I will, the only thing I know about High School DxD is um, K Word really likes it. It's like Kage's favorite anime. I don't know why it's Kage's favorite anime. I have some guesses. This is the only thing I know about a comic I kill. Uh, a comic I kill. Sorry, High School DxD. Actually, I kind of like, I kind of like his his opinions for the most part. Maybe, maybe it's worth a shot. I kind of like these opinions. Hunter Hunter. I watched a little bit of Hunter Hunter. I don't have a well-formed opinion on it, but put it B. Here's what I know about Hunter Hunter. Okay, I've skipped around. I'll admit that I've watched a, a, a bit of the beginning, and then I've watched episodes from all over the fucking place. It seems kind of lit. It's got that song, the fucking, um, what's that song called? Always has been song. Oh, it's, it's coming. It's coming. So apparently this song, you know what, I gotta put it today. I'm gonna put it today just for that alone. It left its mark on society. Uh, up next is, uh, is that Blue Exorcist? I'm gonna put Blue Exorcist in C. Uh, yeah, that's Blue Exorcist. All right, uh, I'm gonna put it in fucking C. I watched it for like 20 episodes and, you know, I really liked the setting. I thought the vibe was cool, but it just lacks that something, something, you know? I kind of fell out of interest pretty quickly for some reason. There's some crucial element that I felt like it was lacking. Like even among Shonen shows, it didn't hold my interest for that long. And I will say I liked a lot of things about about it. I thought the main character was kind of cool. Rin Okumura, right? That's that guy. It's a shonen. Like, the idea is that the kid, the, the main character is the son of Satan, so he's got devil powers, and up next is Pokemon. Pokemon's goaded. Goaded franchise. Do I actually think... Here's the thing. Am I giving Pokemon a 10 on my mal? No, I'm not giving Pokemon a 10. I'm probably giving it, like, honestly, it really depends on the season or the movie or whatever. Here's the thing about Pokemon. I don't know if you guys have watched any of the new Pokemon seasons, Sun and Moon or whatever. I just think they're really lovingly made, and I can unironically just watch it whenever. Like, Pokemon Sun and Moon, it's so, it's got so much charm. What I, 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 I always say that if you watch new Pokemon, like, if you, like, a character will say something, and then all the, as they're talking, you know, like, in a bad anime, like, only the person who's talking moves, and then all of the other characters are static. Like, in Pokemon, Everyone in the background is always doing something pertinent. So, like, somebody will say something, and then there's four Pokemon in the background reacting in, like, a cute way. You know what I mean? Like, they really went ham with the animation. And there's just a lot of love in it. I mean, is it my favorite anime of all time? No, but it's iconic. It shaped my childhood. The new seasons are actually fucking really watchable. I'm gonna put it in S. That's where I'm at on it. OG Pokemon's super bad. Yeah, but then Nostalgia Factor, right? So, there you go. Bakuman. I'm a big Bakuman fan. I'm gonna put Bakuman in A. I'm gonna put it up here. I, I read... I didn't watch the anime. I read read a lot of the manga. I think it's fair to do manga. Um, I think Bakuman's pretty f***ing cool. I'm really into it. And also, I wore uh, I wore white Air Force Ones for a long time, so I thought it was really cool how the main character of Bakuman also wears white Air Force Ones. Also, I don't know. Bakuman's... I just thought the concept of, like, an anime written... Sorry, a manga written by the guy that wrote Death Note, but now it's about writing manga. Like, I just... I don't know. That hooked me. And I read it for many, many chapters. I didn't finish it. I'm not caught up or whatever, but um, I, I really like following Bakuman while I was reading it. Only thing that drags down is the romance. Yeah, but I'm, I'm such a sucker for for romance, you know? All right, Dororo, new Dororo, uh, B. I'm gonna go with B. I think New Dororo is pretty good. I watched a fair bit of it. I kind of liked the vibe, but it got a little Villain of the Weekish, which makes sense when you realize it's an adaptation from a manga from the fucking 60s. I thought it was cool. Opie's really nice. Dororo, I don't know. It's kind of badass. It, it gets a little predictable. It gets a little, like, repetitive, I think, but it's kind of like, in some ways, it kind of reminded me of, like, Mushishi. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, it's really different than Mushishi in a lot of other ways, but I don't know. I like Dororo, and I like the I like the fight scenes, so, you know. Kage is straight to S. Kage is going above Pokemon. I actually actually did rate Kaguya like an 8 or a 9 or something. Season 2, I like even when season 1. You know why? Season 1's all comedy, and season 2's got some of the romance. I, I like the romance elements of Kaguya. I think they're good. I think they're good, and I want to cheer for the characters, and season 2 actually made progress, progress if you will, on the romance, which a lot of manga of this nature don't. Lord knows I read 600 chapters of To Love Ru, and it was the biggest waste of time on anything I've spent time on in my life, except maybe arguing on Twitter. So, Kage's gotta go up there. Devilman Crybaby. I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. I didn't like it. Here's what I noticed about Devilman Crybaby. I, I group watched it. I actually binged it, okay? I actually watched this show with a bunch of my buddies. All of us liked it, except one of our friends didn't like it. Um, That person was actually... I think he was just weirded out by that. I think he was just creeped out, because it's like, it's very draining. Like, it is it is like like a lot of horrible things happen to the characters, and it just it's just like, you're just taking... Like, as you're watching it, it's just 
just like, oh, 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 and you're just having to take hit after hit after hit, you know? And uh, it, it drags you down. But if you can take the hits, I think it's really good. But I think some people just, some people literally tune out because they're like, this is too much. Too many bad things are happening. I can't deal with it. And if that's you, I get it. But I thought it was, I think me binging it made it better because we watched it in one sitting and it was kind of honestly fucking surreal. I think it's a great binge anime. It's really bleak. I haven't heard anyone give a reason of them not liking it besides it just wasn't for me. And what I think that means is it just fucking grossed them out or creeped them out. And, and it was just super dark and super sad and super bleak and if that's you then i get it but i liked it. it it's it's really i think it's one of the shows that you know you also does his tonal shifts the really jarring tonal shifts and you know how i harp on japan sinks 2020 for being really bad at that i think devilman crybaby is the good version of that it's hit or miss but if you can if you can put up with how dark it is it's cool up next is this is assassination classroom yeah assassination classroom this is gonna be a b for me chief uh i watched six or seven episodes of Ansatsu Kochi, so I might go back to one day. Honestly, to me, the best thing about it is the OPs. It's pretty... I like it in some moments. It actually has some pretty memorable moments. I would say overall, it's kind of cheap comedy, and, you know, it feels like it's like... I, I don't know. I would say that maybe it picks up at some point. In the first seven episodes, it, it does feel like it drags a little bit, you know? But it's entertaining. I feel like I got used to the gimmick and moved on, but the gimmick was cool. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Alright, up next is, is this Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z? I guess Dragon Ball? Does this include DBZ? Oh, there's your Here's DBZ. All right, Dragon Ball, I'm going to put in low A, I think. Dragon Ball's nice. Yeah, I like old Dragon Ball more than DBZ, actually. Dr DBZ drags. Old Dragon Ball, I felt like it didn't. It's just a fun adventure show. I agree. I think a lot of people like DB over DBZ. Yeah, I don't even think it's a hot take. Moving on, DBZ. I'll put DBZ in B. I grew up with it. I've got a lot of fun. In fact, I'll put it at the top of B. I definitely grew up with it. DBZ's fucking goaded. Also, like, it's so iconic. It influenced so many things in culture. Also, ha like, you know what I mean? Like, my man... Right? Like, dude, there, there's so much... Like, culture would not be the same. Meme culture would not be the same without DBZ. You know what I mean? I've seen this image used in some fucking hilarious contexts, most of which I can't talk about on my stream uh, without offending certain people. Yeah, I'm a big fan of what Dragon Ball Z brought to popular culture in in a similar vein uh, to Hunter Hunter's uh, Always Has Been song. So I'll put it in B. But I do think it drags. Like, I was explaining this to my girlfriend because she never watched DBZ growing up. How many episodes is it that fucking Planet Namek is exploding for? And they're like, oh, it's going to explode in five minutes. How, how many episodes? Frieza destroys the core and gives the planet five minutes until implosion. Ten episodes later, the planet explodes. In the show, they say it's going to explode in five minutes. 10 episodes later and it was extra grueling when I watched as a kid because if you guys didn't watch uh, uh, the way Cartoon Network could broadcast these shows was they would do an episode and they would and they would keep going and then inexplicably one day you'd go and turn on the show and they would be doing a rerun from 30 episodes in the past you're like why the fuck are they doing a rerun and they never really explained they never told you why as a kid I think it's because they just didn't have access to the new episodes yet and they had to do a rerun but they never explained this to you so you just turn it on and it's fucking 30 episodes in the past and so it wasn't 10 episodes, like in, as a kid, it wasn't 10 episodes. It was like probably 70 or 80. Like that five minutes of in anime time probably stretched to like over a year in real life time, which is pathetic. Anyway, moving on. What is this? Is this a uh, mob psycho? Oh, is this a uh, Tokyo Ghoul? Dude, I tried getting into Tokyo Ghoul. I'm just not a Tokyo Ghoul fan. I tried getting into it. I was like, this seems like Par Parasite, but edgier. I already didn't really like Parasite. I'm putting an F. Why do people think the manga's better? How could the manga possibly be better? But from a cultural perspective, there we go. Sad anime Twitter PFP meme. That's what I needed. That's what I needed. Uh, up next is Naruto. I'm gonna put Naruto top of C. Actually, dude, I kind of like Naruto. I'm down for Naruto and B. I'm down for Naruto and B. The ship it in? Oh. Uh, I never got to ship it in, so I guess I'll put it in. Have a watch. I'm gonna put it in B here. I'm gonna actually drop Dororo to C, because if we're going by how long I stuck with the franchise before dropping it, I definitely stuck with Naruto longer. I got past the Chunin exams, and it's at a certain point, I was like, damn, I'm how many episodes in? I'm like 200 episodes in, and like two things have happened. And I was kind of like, that's too few things for how much time I put into this. You know what I'm saying? We say an anime is defined by its worst? No. No. Not necessarily. 
I know what you mean. Like, it's worst trait. No, not necessarily. I really like Akagi, and objectively speaking, the ending sucks. It doesn't have an ending, you know? I'm da I'm da Evangelion. Like, I don't think Evangelion is defined by, uh, you know, episodes 25 and 26 or whatever, right? No, I don't think so. I, I think you have to consider it, but it doesn't have to become the main focal point of consideration. Hajime no Ippo. I honestly don't know about Ippo. Ippo seems super dope. I've just never gotten into it, so I can't rate it. Mob is amazing. Mob's going in S. Mob's going in S for sure. Mob might even go above. Mob's like here. Mob's really good. I I, I think especially season two. And I think me putting it up here is not going to be a contentious opinion. I think most people think Mob is pretty fucking sick. And season two is extra good, in my opinion. Really like season two. I, I mean, the art's really pretty. The music's cool. The characters are cool. The fight scenes are cool. It's a little surface level in season one, kind of. But it's it's interesting enough. And then season two, I think, really steps it up. So I'm going to put it in S. It's just really good across the board. Erased. Erased is tough for me. I'm going to put it in bottom of A. I really like the first half, and I think the second half sucks. Um, I think Erased drops a lot of balls. Have you guys heard my spiel on Erased? Here's where I'm at with Erased, okay? I'm even down for B. Here's where I'm at on Erased. The first half, they set up a story that you really care about. They're like, okay, he's this kid. He's got these powers. He's trying to save this girl. In episode six, he saves the girl. And then they're like, okay, well, how do we keep the story interesting for the second half? And he's like, let's find more kids to save. And he goes and finds some other random girl. Like, they need to introduce some other, but, like, you don't care at that point. Like, he's like, let's find the villain and try to find some other person to save. But, like, it's, you don't care nearly as much about this random person. The way it resolves is obviously, the, the, the last episode is Monka as f Like, what the f*** is going on on that roof? That, that none of that made any f***ing sense. They also, they're, they're, they, they, they drop a lot of threads. Um, they introduce, the, remember the white-haired character? And he's like, oh, why does he know so much? Why is he so smart? What are they going to do with this character? And he ends up just not mattering at all. Like, that was stupid. They didn't explain how he got his powers. They didn't explain anything about the time travel subplot. There's just so many threads that they didn't wrap up. Just the way that it, the way that it resolved was like, it just left you wanting more. And it felt like there were a million threads that they, you know, it's like the people who wrote, and I, I know it deviated from the manga, but it's like they kind of introduced all these elements. And then they were like, well, no idea what the f*** to do with these. Not our problem. And, and that was it. So... It was terrible. The ending was terrible. I'm gonna put it in, I think B is fair. Promise Neverland, season one or season two? Season one's great, I'll put it in bottom of A. It's kind of like a race, right? If this is just season one, it's A. If it's both, it's like here or lower. Oh, this is Mao. how not to raise a deep bro. I haven't seen it, but I'm putting it in F. Oh, that's Shield Hero? Okay, F. Some Isekai ha! Can I just put Isekai ha! Black Clover? I haven't seen Black Clover. Next, Goblin Slayer. I'll be the first to tell you, I gave this anime a chance. I heard that it got tamer after episode one. So I watched episodes like two, three, four, maybe. And it's like not good. It's like boring. I actually liked, minus the, the, the weird like sex, ha! I actually liked the vibe of episode one. I liked the premise of every other character in this universe thinks they're in an isekai, like a lighthearted isekai, and only the main character realizes he's actually in Dark Souls. I thought that premise was cool, but they didn't even do that. So they dropped the weird sex stuff, which I'm happy about, but then they kind of just made it a generic isekai. And uh, there were some moments I liked. He went and he fought a Balrog and he, he, ha! he was, he, he prepared some bullshit ha! way of defeating the Balrog. And he goes, he goes, uh, he goes, uh, the Balrog's like, how can you defeat me? I'm an A-rank demon or, you know, whatever the f And he's like, you're not even as much of a threat as a goblin. And the Balrog's like, no, and dies. And I was like, that's cool. I'm into that. Oh, it was the, I did the manga, not the anime. I did the manga, not the anime. That being said, I think overall, nah. Is JoJo's really not on this list? How is JoJo's not on this list? They have Shield Hero, but not JoJo's. Anyway, uh, up next is, uh, what the fuck is this? I can't tell. One Piece, and it's One Piece! Oh my god, it's so hard to tell. One Piece! People are gonna get mad at me for this. I got into the manga a little. I read, I read some of the manga. I read maybe, like, 100 chapters. Nah, less than that. I read, like, 40, 50 chapters. I'm, like, a couple arcs in. Um, dude, I, like, don't quite get it yet. I'm gonna put it here. I like it. It hasn't hooked me yet. I don't know. It's so long, dude. I don't know, man. I can try to give it a try until chapter 100. But the fact that none of you guys are even mad at me, like the fact that I just put it in B or C, no one even got mad at me. All you guys are like, yeah, it's so fucking long. That, that like makes me feel like I don't really need to get into it. Like not a single one of you guys is like, what the fuck, dude? One Piece is so sick after Arlong Park. All right, what chapters are Arlong Park? What chapters are Arlong Park? If you tell me that, I'll give it a shot. 
60, maybe 70. I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot up to a chapter 100. I can do that. Next, we got Lucky Star. Dude, I kind of like Lucky Star. It's grown on me over the years. Let's put this in C. Put this in C. I'll put it in mid B. I'm kind of, I'm kind of into Lucky Star. I like Lucky Star. I like, I like the idea of Lucky Star, you know? It was definitely genre defining, right? It was like, it was a big fucking deal. Like Lucky Star was a big fucking deal when it came out. Lucky Star was that show that, it was a show that everyone watched. I agree that it doesn't necessarily like age well, but it also kind of does. Like it's kind of charming to go back and be like, oh yeah, this is what people used to associate with otaku. Ism, you know, it's kind of a vibe. I, I kind of like it. I don't know. I'm gonna put it here. My Hero Academia. Um, top of C maybe. It's good in some ways. It's also kind of really fucking stupid in some ways. Again, the thing that I always go off on is why the f did Deku break his arm ten times before realizing he could kick? I think this show could be more interesting, but it sucks that what it sucks that All Might, who's easily the fucking sickest character in My Hero Academia, like All Might is like. I would watch the show if, if All Might was was more prominently featured, but the fact that he has to kind of bow out pretty early, and I just feel like a lot of the characters that are in the class or whatever, like, they're just fucking boring, man. I watched four seasons of this show, and I'm just, I kind of lost interest, I don't know. All Might is so sick, though. All Might, like, I love what he's about. I love how he, like, knows, he, like, he's like Mango, you know? Like, he, like, wants to fight for something greater than himself. And he knows he's got like, you know, he knows he's getting older and all this. Ah. I just love that vibe, you know? I love that vibe as someone who, you know, they take on the title of like people's champ, but like not really for themselves and more because they believe in like something greater than themselves, you know? And I, yeah, I don't really care about the school. Ha. I think the school is fucking dumb. Who's Gojo? Which Gojo are we talking about? I actually don't know which Gojo. Is that like a the Jujutsu Kaisen guy? Is he that sick? Do people like Gojo that much? Psyche K. Psyche K is funny as hell. I don't know idea people. You know it's actually funny. I should probably watch it. I haven't watched it. Seems like I'd like it. Apparently, people say it's funny as fuck if you know Japanese, and I do know Japanese, so maybe I should just watch it. All I know about it is it is a lot of anime songs on Anime Music Quiz, and uh, my boy Hiroshi Kamiya does the main character, which I'm into. There's just hella wordplay. It's one of those. It's like Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei kind of thing, or yeah, I, I, they're cool. Is it like Kakashi Goto? Kakashi Goto kind of reminds me of that. A lot of wordplay in Kakashi Goto. It's great, like Sakamoto. I can't watch Sakamoto. Okay, Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan for me, honestly. The anime, I want to put an S. Legendary storytelling, uh, legendary art, legendary music, like people, some of the seasons are just incredible. Like season three, part two, everyone loves season three, part two for some reason. Unfortunately, I know how the show ends. I know the manga ends rather. And I got to bump it down a little bit for that. I got to bump it down a little bit for that. Cause the ending, mm, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it, but I didn't like it. I don't know, man. It could have been so much more. Could have been more. I liked it in a way. It's not, it just doesn't, in the moment, you read it and you're kind of like, oh, that's it? And then you think back on it and you're like, well, it was resolved pretty nicely. They put a little bow on it, you know? I, I, it's all right. It's all right. I liked a lot of the ending. In fact, I liked the second to last chapter. I liked the third to last chapter. I just didn't like the last chapter. Does that make sense? I wish it had like 10 more chapters and it just felt like it ended too quickly, if that makes sense. I don't know. Uh, that's the vibe I got. All right, Aramanga Sensei. Fucking degenerates. Uh, what am I looking at here? I actually can't tell what this is. Can someone help me out with this one? I probably just haven't watched it. Claymore? Ah, uh, no, I haven't really watched Claymore. All right, you guys are gonna hate me for the next one. Fucking love free, dude. Is it S? It's A. It's A. It's top of A. I love free. Bro, free is actually a fucking good sports anime. And I think at the time, people didn't give it a chance because they thought it was Fujoshi bait or whatever. It's not. It's good, dude. It's fucking good. It covers a lot of the same kind of themes that Ping Pong the Animation covers. I really liked the thing about how the main character, you know how the main character, like he just wanted, I thought it was so cool how the, it, the dynamic of the main character just wants to swim. He's just like, I just like being in the water. I just like swimming. That's my thing. And then like his rival wants to compete and he doesn't really care about competition. He just wants to swim. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, there's definitely some people in Melee that are like that. They just want to play Melee. I don't like drug fox or something. They just love the game. It's, they're not, it's not really about the rivalries and the competition for them. They just love being in the water, you know? I just thought that dynamic was really cool. Uh, I like the side characters. 
Why do people not like the show? Honestly, back in the day when you asked people why they didn't like the show, they're just like, lol, I didn't watch it. Looked too gay for me. And now they like don't they realize that if they say that they'll sound like homophobes. So I'm curious what people say now. I'm assuming I gave a saw shot and I hated it. Why? It's good. Why'd you hate it? It had nothing to do with swimming. It had everything to do with swimming. You wanted it to be, I see. You wanted it to be more, you wanted them to talk about the fucking swimming. No, but it's a sports. It's like how ping pong isn't really about ping pong. Like, okay, maybe if I was a super dedicated ping pong player and I watched ping pong the animation and they're like, damn, they didn't even really talk about ping pong. It wasn't even really about ping pong. Yeah, but that's like why ping pong the animation is good. It's good because you don't have to be a ping pong player to appreciate it. So I don't care that it didn't pick up any of the nuances of the sport. That's not why I watch sports anime. The ping pong and ping pong checks out. I guess, I guess it just doesn't matter to me at all. I guess I, I like, the degree to which I care about the degree to, if they ever make a melee oh they did they made Tomozaki kun I don't I don't like criticize Tomozaki kun because the melee wasn't realistic enough or something you know what I mean like that's just not I get it I get it if you're a swimmer and you can care about that kind of sh then I get it and more power to you but fine I I don't care I don't care about it I care about the, the bonds between the characters and the themes and I thought all that stuff was executed Way better than a lot of, dare I say it, people who are a little bit unconfident with themselves and their own sexualities or whatever were willing to give this anime a try for. I actually thought Free was f***ing sick, but that's just me. Food Wars. I can't say, I've watched one episode. I can't really rate Food Wars. From what I've heard, it would probably go here. I heard season one's pretty good and I heard it goes downhill pretty fast. Higurashi, God, I f***ing love Higurashi, dude. There's a lot of in Higurashi that doesn't age well. I'm gonna have to start rebalancing. I'm gonna have to start rebalancing. I'm starting to rebalance. Uh, there's a lot of that doesn't really age well weird you know like if you just watch anime from like the early 2000s they just like have pedo characters you know what i mean like the doctor's just like oh yeah like it, it like the second arc he's just like oh yeah i'm trying to groom uh satoko so i can marry her when she turns 18 and you're just expected to be like all right word i think these days people aren't really cool with that kind of shit anymore back in the day it was like fine or something they still do today i mean do they i don't know man not really not really. I think a lot of culture just changed. Yeah, I don't know. They changed Roshi so much. That makes sense. Hot take. I think you could make a character that was perverted that wasn't gross. I think it... The problem is characters like that will almost by definition never age well because they're only as acceptable as like the standards of the time. And so you just have to be okay with characters like that just not fucking aging well. You know what I mean? Anyway, that ha! aside, Higurashi's fucking dope. Like, uh, I rewatched it recently with my girlfriend. And the thing about it is it's kind of hard to get into. But once you watch three or four episodes and you kind of like get through the first arc and shit, like, and it's like, holy f what the fuck is going on? And the time looping starts. Higurashi's really... I've not seen the Higurashi dub. No, it sounds funny. I like that. I like Higurashi a lot. I think it's a it's a vibe for sure, and it's like definitely. I mean, remember we were doing the anime genre tier list, and I was kind of like, "Damn, what are the good horror anime?" And I think the best horror anime is probably Higurashi, right? Cool plot twists. My only thing about Higurashi is I actually am of the opinion, but I I, I know I'm actually not. This is actually maybe a controversial opinion, but I think season one is better than Kai. I liked season one more than Kai. I thought Kai was okay. I think Higurashi does a better job at presenting questions than it does answering. I think that when it brings up questions, you're just like, holy f what the f is going on? And I think piecing things together, like, oh, that's why that happened. You know, it's kind of cool. Like, you know, like in Tatami Galaxy, right? It's kind of like that, but... Bro, you cannot compare Free to Keijo. Actually, that's not fair. I haven't really seen all of Keijo. I've seen like one episode. I just don't get the sense that Keijo has the same amount of love put into its characters. Some people will tell you that Keijo's good though. Maybe I gotta watch it. I don't know. Maybe Keijo's good. Is Keijo good? You guys like Keijo? It's stupid, but like... I have, I have watched Tommy Galaxy. Oh, I don't know if I've rated it. I'll take this opportunity to plug the concept of subscribing. You too can subscribe to my channel. If you do so, you'll get perks like, I'll thank you. And when I do things like the summer party extravaganza, maybe, uh, you know, the subscribers are going to get a little bit of, bit of, little bit of love there. I'll probably do some, some karaoke and the uh, subscribers are going to get to request songs or something like that. All you got to do is drop a prime. Keeps, keeps my rent paid, which is positive. It's really cool when I can pay rent. One girl's literally Gilgamesh with, I know, I've seen the opening theme. She's in the opening theme. Theme. So I've seen that. Where are you gonna put JoJo's? JoJo's isn't on this list, which is fucking weird. I'd probably put it in. Well, I mean, really, I would want to do JoJo's per season. Because, like, part one is, like, C. Part two is, like, A or S. Part two's A. Part three is C or D, except for the ending, which is S. Once they get to Egypt, it's S. Part four is A or S. 
Part five is like B or A. JoJo's would be all over the place. The thing about JoJo's is JoJo's gets so much better. Every, every JoJo's arc gets so much better when they introduce the, the, the villain of that arc. You know what I mean? Every single JoJo's arc gets so much better when the big bad enters the narrative. JoJo part one and two are better than the rest. I think part two is better than the rest. I think part one is... Part one's just too fucking weird, man. <laughs> I haven't seen Paradise Kiss, no. Part three without Dio, you can honestly almost just skip. They're like on the ship. And there's a monkey on the ship. And then the ship is the stand. And the monkey's the stand user. Ah! It's like, all right. I guess, man. That's one way to do it. And then they're in the desert. And the sun is the stand. Ah! And then there's a dog that farts a lot. It is really ugly. But then they get a little bit further. And now you're supposed to like the dog. So they draw him in a completely different art style. And now the dog is really cool. And it's just like, what? Iggy's cool at the end. He's not cool at the beginning. Iggy's super cool when he fights Pet Shop. Who, by the way, is apparently broken tier in the JoJo's fighting game. Anyway, up next we got, uh, what's this? Ha! Soul Eater or whatever. Oh, Beelzebub. Uh, haven't seen. Magi! Haven't seen. Is Magi good? Should I watch Magi or Beelzebub? I probably won't. k -On. I'm sure you guys have heard my spiel with k -On. k -On I'll do mid A, upper A. I'll put it like here. I think k -On fucking set, here's the thing. k -On set anime back in a big way, okay? Because k -On came out. Here's the thing about k -On. k -On set anime back in a big way because k -On came out and a bunch of shitty animation studios and writers, this is how I like to pretend it went down or believe it went down. A bunch of shitty animation studios like, oh wow, slice of life is so easy. All you gotta do is just draw some cute girl characters and have them hanging out doing fucking nothing. And then a bunch of shitty anime came out where they're really boring. And then it's like, oh, wait a minute. It turns out the reason k good isn't because there's just girls sitting around doing nothing. It's good because of the fundamentals. The character designs, the dialogue is snappy. The characters are really endearing and enjoyable. The music's good, the art is good, the animation's good. You really get drawn into the characters. And I think k spawned a whole era of ha! shitty slice of life anime. But the thing is, slice of life isn't actually easy to make. And I think people didn't, or anime makers didn't realize this. k itself is fucking wonderful. I, I, yeah, I think that people just saw k and they're like, we can make k -On. It's like, you can't make k -On. Like, there's a reason kill on kill Ani, like Kyoto Animation is well suited to make a show like k -On. But a lot of studios aren't. And so there was just a lot of garbage Moe anime that came out for a while that was super skippable. And I mean, I don't know. It's not like k -On really started that trend, but that's how I like to think it went down. I haven't seen Hitman Reborn, bro. I just have, why is Hitman Reborn I heard? I haven't seen Hitman Reborn, haven't seen Fairy Tale. never fucking will. Sword of Line goes in uh, low F above Shield Hero. It's actually probably worse than Shield Hero in Aramago Sensei. At least they're coherent. I'm gonna put Sword Online b below them. Sword Online is actually just worse than these anime. Q. I'm not that far in Haikyuu. I actually need to go back and give it another fair chance. I was- I started a group watch with some friends. They weren't really into it. We kind of fell off the wagon. I'll put Haikyuu in... I kind of liked what I watched. Put it like bottom of A. I liked what I watched. It is the sports anime's sport anime. I think A is fair. I honestly need to go back and probably finish it. It is real volleyball if that's what you're into. The, the criticism I've heard leveled against Haikyuu is every character kind of stands for exactly one thing. And so, you know, you kind of know, like, obviously there's a lot of characters in play at any given time, but it's kind of predictable how their personalities are going to clash. And at the same time, it's very pretty. It's well animated. It's kind of cool. You know, you, you have characters to cheer for. I'll probably go back and give it a fair shot at some point. Yu Yu Hakusho. God, Yu Yu Hakusho is so fucking sick. This might not be actually fair. I didn't like finish Yu Yu Hakusho. I watched a lot of it as a kid on Toonami, but I loved everything I saw. You know what I'm saying? I loved everything I saw. I probably would finish it. It's just, it's just at this point, it feels like it's too old to go back and watch. Like it's too, it's too long. Maybe I'll do it at some point, but that anyway, whatever. Go on, moving on. Umaru-chan. I don't really get Umaru-chan. There's some people that really like Umaru-chan. I don't really, I don't fucking get it, man. And she's like, it's like the deal is she's lazy, and when she's in her lazy mode, she looks like a fucking hamster. It's like that's like the that's the, the gimmick or whatever. And then she gets her brother to buy her potato chips or whatever. Slice of life distilled. Mm, that sounds bad. You can't distill a slice of life. Dong and Ropa. Which dong and Ropa is this? That looks like Makoto at the front. I think I see Sayaka or whatever. This is the original. Dong and Ropa. The anime is pretty fucking bad. I'll put it above Shield Hero. You can't experience Dong and Ropa as an anime. You need to play the video game. It's just not like I watched the first episode of the anime. I watched all of Dong and Ropa three, but I watched the first episode of the anime and like they're like, let's go in this room and search it for clues. And then they're like, oh, here's a clue. And I'm like, okay, I guess this is the part of the video game where I 
point and click around the room for clues. And then they go into, now, time to have an argument about the thing in the courtroom. And then they're like, dun, 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 dun. And then it's like, something, something, something. And it's it just like too closely adheres to, it feels like if you're gonna, if you're gonna adapt a video game into an anime like that, you have to make it feel more like an anime. The, it's, it's just completely... Is it pacing? Is that the word I want? The pacing is like video game pacing. It's like, it's like I'm going into a room now, we're searching for clues, and now, now it's the next gameplay segment, and it's just like, this doesn't work as a fucking anime, dude. What's this, Dragon Ball Super? Kai? Honestly, I can't give an opinion on it. I haven't watched enough episodes. Which one is this? Is this Super? Is this Kai? This is Dragon Ball Z? What the f*** did I just rate? What's this? I ranked Super? Oh, come man, dude. Okay, I dude, I'll do it like this. Super's better. Which one's better, Super or DBZ? I liked what I watched of Super, but I've only seen three episodes, and I've also heard there's some stinker episodes. The episodes I watched were fucking lit though, because I watched the episode where he went ultra instinct. I watched the episode where he, um, where him and Freeze teamed out to take that take down Shir, and I'm like, damn. You know, that's crazy that you're teaming up with Frieza. And Goku's like, let's get him, Frieza. Let's take down Jiren for the universe. And Frieza's like, hmm, can't believe the day that I used to work with the Saiyan. And I, I haven't really seen Dragon Ball Z since Dragon Ball Z. And I'm like, damn, didn't Frieza, like, kind of enact genocide on your race? Like, isn't that kind of weird? What do you stop to think about it? Like, team, like, you know, I know I know Dragon Ball Z and Shonen's like do the thing where, like, this guy's a, a bad guy. And now he's a good guy to fight the next villain. He's like kind of came around, but like, dude, he did really evil things, right? He like annihilated races and was super right. He called Saiyans monkeys over and over. Like that seems racist. Uh, Frieza seems like not cool to team up with. I don't know. I get it. If you're doing it to save the universe, you know, you do what you can. If it's like, if the universe is online, you definitely do what you can. But like, I don't know, man. I wouldn't team up with him. Like you can't take a guy like, Frieza's too evil to turn him. You know what I mean? Frieza's just too evil. Like he crossed that line. There's some villains you can make a good guy later. You can't make Frieza a good guy. Dragon Maid. I kind of like Dragon Maid. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Dragon Maid. I'll put it in high B. I don't know. High B seems fair. I'll, I'll put this down and see. Yeah, what's her deal? She's weird. I actually kind of dropped the show when she showed up, if I'm not gonna lie. I... Man, now, yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe I just like the first couple episodes. I liked it when it was just the main girl and uh, uh, her main, the dragon maid. They're the two best characters. And then they, every every new character they introduced, I was like, this character sucks. Maybe that's why I dropped it. Yeah, I'll drop it down. I'll put it like here. I, did, I didn't finish it, so. Luko is a good example of a pedo character in current anime. Yeah, but I guess the theory is that it feels different because, I mean, you're right. Ultimately, you're right. But I guess people don't harp on that because, it, you know, it's like a woman, not an old lecherous man. So it feels different. You can't argue with it though. I think you're right. It got super unfocused. That's how I felt. I liked the premise at the beginning. And then I just felt like they were like, I was like, what the fuck is going on now? I don't know. I like the art. I like the opening theme, but all right. Kimetsu New Aiba. Honestly, I haven't seen Kimetsu New Aiba. Yuri on Ice. Ah, B, C. I love the, if it was the first four episodes, it'd be like here. First four episodes, it'd be here. But the whole series, I'm sorry. Once it turns into a sports anime, it's just not good. I just don't care. And the way they introduce characters is like, it's so predictable. Goes to a new tournament. They introduce five new characters. They all do their routines. Yuri does his routine. Then there's then there's exactly 30 seconds of material you actually care about, which is like the relationship between Yuri, the other Yuri, and Victor. And you're like, yeah, give me more of that. And then, nope, back to bullshit I don't care about. So it's it's not good. It, it just doesn't know how to be a sports anime. I don't think it should have ever been a sports anime. They should have made it gayer. I think they should have just made it gayer. It should have been purely a gay romance anime. And uh, that was the only, that was the good part. That was literally the good part. If they made it gayer, it'd be good. I, they fucked up. Evangelion, top of S. Danmachi sucks. There's exactly one reason people watch it. It's the boob ribbon. Uh, this show's not good. I'm going to put it. It's at least better than Danganronpa because it's more honest about what it wants. Uh, Bleach, I haven't seen. Don't really care about Bleach at this point. Uh, is this Gintama? Gintama might be the one show. Is this Gintama or is this Soul Eater? Gintama's either I haven't seen or S. I need to watch Gintama. I haven't seen it. Isn't it come on? How many seasons in Gintama are there? I kind of want to watch it at some point. I feel like I might like it. Uh, I could just do the manga, honestly. Whoa! Television series, 200 episodes. Then 65. Then 50. Oh my god. That's a lot. That's a lot of Gintama. That's so much. Holy f***. It starts slow, dude. If something is 400 episodes and starts slow, it's just over. You know what I mean? Like, that's bad. That's a bad look. Like, I'm just never going to get into it. Come on, man. It starts slow. How many, how far do you have to get into Gintama before you like it? Be honest. I'll just do the manga, dude. 
40? That's like three seasons of normal anime. Most worth thing you've ever done. Yeah, can I just skip the first 40 episodes? Can I watch episode one and then skip 40 episodes in? Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just usually don't watch long shows. I'm probably never gonna get into it. You would be lucky if I got into it. All right, I'll give Kitama a shot at one point. Up next is Code Geass. Dude, Code Geass has a lot of flaws, but it's also very charming in a lot of ways. I liked a lot of things about it. I didn't like a lot of things about it. But the nice thing about Code Geass is even the stupid shit, at least it's like fun stupid, you know? It's never boring. And that's something that I would say that a lot of these other shows cannot claim. I'm down to put it in like B. Yeah, I think B. That seems fair. I think that seems fair. There's a lot of stupid ha! about Code Geass. It has weird tone issues, yes. It is weird. You got bored of it? Wow. I thought that it broke the holy rule of JRPGs, which is you never you never lower the stakes. You can't introduce the concept of God and like be like the politics ha! doesn't the geopolitical ha! doesn't matter anymore. Now it's about the quest for godliness. And then he like it's like nah, scratch that. Actually, uh no, uh it's back to the geopolitical. Ha! And like never mind, the God thing didn't matter at all. I don't know. Did I watch second season? Yeah, I think season one's better. It's R one season one makes more sense. R two doesn't make much sense. Yeah. Left my gears on by accident, XD. Whoops. Sorry. Looks like you're dead now. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you. Do adults in Japan like 30 year old plus watch anime? Oh, of course. But they, they watch boomer anime, you know? There's anime and manga that are super prevalent that everybody watches. I would not say that the average like 30 plus year old guy like watches anime like a lot, but they could tell you anime that they like. They probably have manga they read. Like they probably go to the fucking, they, they probably still read Golgo 13 or whatever. You know what I mean? There were a lot of old businessmen on the train that were playing Pokemon. I remember when Pokemon Black and White came out when I was in Japan. You'd see a lot of old dudes on the train playing fucking Pokemon. That, those two weeks after Black and White came out, everyone on the train was on the train playing Pokemon. Everyone. And I mean everyone. Old people, young people, boys, girls, men, women. Everyone was playing Pokemon Black and White. If you think people in America play Pokemon, people in Japan really fucking play Pokemon. Uh, nah, yeah, Neverland is with, if it was season one alone, I'd probably put it like up here, but with season two, somewhere around here, I don't know. Konosuba. Okay, I like Konosuba. It's a little wonky at times. It's a little wonky at times. Is it a B? Is it an A? I think it might be bottom of A. It's my favorite isekai. It's a little much sometimes. I will say, we're talking about how to make a, you know, perverted character not super hateable. I would say people don't like Kazuma, but they don't hate him the way they hate, like, Mineta from My Hero Academia or whatever, right? Like... This show's better about it, I guess. Although the movie was pretty fucking sus. I didn't like the movie. I'll tell you right now, I hated the movie. But this show's fucking funny. Uh, Konosuba's really funny. I love the character dynamics. I think part of what makes Kazuma tolerable is that, like, at the end of the day, the characters give off this vibe. Like, they're always ha! talking each other. But you can kind of tell that the characters all really like each other. That's ultimately, like, what makes the show work. Aqua and Mega Man and Darkness and Kazuma, like, they have really funny dynamics. And they actually... Even though they'll never admit it, they actually like each other. And I think that adds a lot of credence to the way the jokes land. There's the homie vibe. And I think it's really important for there to be a homie vibe in a show like this, you know? There's a, there's an actual homie vibe. And like, Kazuma does some perverted stuff, whatever, but like, I think the way that the jokes land is because of the dynamics between the characters. I think it's actually very important. And I, I didn't really like the movie. I thought the, the movie was a little too much. Again, the Konosuba movie to me was kind of like when I watched the Borat movie for the second time. The first the first time I, loved, I watched the Borat movie, I loved it. I was like, dude, this movie's goaded. I love the Borat movie. This is so fucking funny. It split my sides. The second time I watched it, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like a week later and I was like, dude, this ha! is not funny. Like, it is just too much. And like, this is like, I need to get out of here. Like, I felt uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? No, One Piece is here. I rated it. I put it like here. Um, I'll put One Piece of above my hero fucking name. I'll put it like here. Anyway, Roni Kenshin. Fucking love Roni Kenshin, dude. I don't love everything about it. I'll put it top of B. Uh, I watched it as a kid. Roni Kenshin was fucking dope. I love the con- I love- I love a lot of things about the premise. I love that he's so bad as he just beats people with the back of his sword. I love, uh, what's the name of his sword style? He's just so fucking goaded. I just like- I like the concept of a character that's so goaded and everyone like- they're like, he can't be this guy. This guy's not fucking badass enough. And then they're like, wait a minute. And then every now and then he gets fucking serious. Have you guys seen the Roni Kenshin live actions? They're actually fucking cool. There's a Kenshin live action I saw, the movie, and it was like actually so fucking good. It had, I think it was the one with uh, the dude with the mask or whatever. And I thought that it was the best like live action adaptation I've seen of any anime. The, the characters actually felt like the real characters. The guy that got playing Kenshin, it actually felt like Kenshin. The guy that they got playing the fucking Son, Son, what's the guy's name? With the big ass sword. That guy was cool. 
But anyway, I like the I like the anime Sanzo. Yeah, I I, I thought Sanosuke. Yeah, that guy. Kenshin's dope, man. I, I'm a big fan of Kenshin. Uh, again, it's another show that I watched on TV as a kid. I didn't finish it, but everything I, I watched, I liked. Is Berserk on here? It fucking should be. Berserk's not on here. Neither is fucking JoJo's for some fucking reason, which is weird. But it is what it is. Up next is uh, Soul Eater. Is this story Soul Eater? Oh, this Seven Deadly Sins. This Fairy Tale. My bad. I, I mix these up. This Seven Deadly Sins. Yeah, I haven't watched either of those. Nothing to say about them. I probably never will. I just don't give a. F One Punch Man. Fucking owns. I fucking love One Punch Man. Season two is worse, but I think even season two isn't that bad. I'm gonna put it like here. I love One Punch Man. I still need to make my YouTube video talking about One Punch Man. I think it's so good, and I think the manga is even fucking better. And if you didn't like season two, that arc is amazing, and you should check the manga out because the Garo arc in the the manga is fucking hard. I've watched some of Kuroko's basketball. I haven't finished it. Dude, long shows, they take so long to snare me, and I just fall out of interest. It just happens every time. It just happens every fucking time. It makes me so sad. Okay, next is Death Note. We all know it needs a new letter. And this is the letter we're gonna choose for it. And that's all I have to say about that. Up next is Steins Gate. Steins Gate has a lot of problems. It has a lot of characters that are uh not a lot. It has a couple characters where it's just like, dude, every time this character is featured prominently, I'm kind of like, I lose interest. Like, um, Myri. I don't really know what her deal is. The big booba character that can only talk with her cell phone. I really don't know what her deal is. Her arc feels like the most colossal waste of time. Ferris Nyan Nyan. I don't really give a f about Ferris Nyan Nyan. But Okabe Rintaro, goaded. Christina, goaded. Daru, goaded. And even the characters that are kind of whatever, like, there's parts where they're dope. And um, I think the overall narrative is really cool. I love the setting. I love the vibe. I think the ending is just genius and really fucking cool. I love all the sci-fi tropes that they work in. I love the John Titan. Like, I love references to real life, like, science-y occult type stuff, like the John Titer stuff, the IBM... 5100, CERN and the Large Hadron Collider. The way this show builds intrigue is really cool. Really into all that stuff. And, uh, oh, oh, not to mention, uh, Amane Suzuha. That's another great character. Love Suzuha. Um, so, yeah, a lot of faults, but also a lot of stuff it does really, really well. So, I mean, I've seen people that just really don't like this show. They think it's kind of average. They think it's kind of mid. But at the end of the day, I quite like it. I'm gonna put it in, uh, either high B or low A. I'm gonna put it, like, maybe here. Put it here. I think this is fair. Maybe even above Attack on Titan. I think it's a I think it's a tighter plot. It could it could it could have dragged, but it didn't. I think parts of it dragged, but ultimately I, I look back on Steins Gate with ultimately fond memories. I have seen Clanad, yes, it's not on this list. Uh an after story is better than the original. But I like both. Uh the problem with Clanad is that the book girl sucks and her arc sucks. Some girls are just better than others. Nagisa sucks, and I think ultimately the problem with Clanad is that Nagisa ends up being the main girl. And then I'm kinda like, whatever. Uh what was I gonna say about Oh, Tomoyo and Kyo and especially Fuko. I love Fuko. I thought the Fuko arc was so fun. Do you know it gets me every time where she's like, I gotta pass these out to people for my fucking sister's wedding or whatever. And they're like, what are these? Are these like wooden stars? And she's like, No, you fucking idiot. You absolute fucking buffoon. Moon? These are wooden starfish. It's like, you can't tell. And they're like, okay. I thought that was so funny, dude. Is that, can I find that scene on YouTube? I love that scene. That joke, I, ugh, I love that joke. I think that joke is so fucking funny, dude. Fuko's wooden starfish fetish. I'm worried about watching this video. <laughs> okay, Nagisa okay, walks in, Nagisa walks in, what's she gonna say? Ah, <laughs> uh, she's so pure. I like the scene. I think, I don't know, if you have to explain it, it loses its power. But I think this scene is fucking funny. Does it make sense? It makes sense, right? He's like, why the fuck would you be carving Starbucks? And then she walks in, and then she, it's like some Seinfeld. I don't know. She like walks in, and she's just like, I like it. I don't know. That's the best thing. That's the best thing Nagisa's has ever done, was be part of that scene. I think it's a good scene. When Tomoya starts to like bond with his child. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. That killed me. At least it's got a happy ending, you know? Only two anime left. Uh, let's do FMA. I'm just going to assume this is Brotherhood. I love Brotherhood. I'm going to put it in us. Yeah, this seems fair. I'm gonna do some rebalancing. Eh, this is fine. I'm down for this. FMA is really good. It's just a fucking well-told adventure story. You know what I really liked about it? You know what I really liked about Brotherhood? 
and FMA in general, like the FMA manga, which is just Brotherhood. Like in Japan, they don't call it Brotherhood. In Japan, they just call it Hagane no Rejujutsu, aka Full Metal Alchemist. And I like the fucking build up to like the final battle. You guys know, like when you play like a Final Fantasy and like you're like grinding levels or doing the side quest or whatever to like get ready for the final dungeon. It like actually felt like there was a real final dungeon kind of vibe going on like leading up to the final episode and the final arc i guess it like actually felt like them raiding a final dungeon and like just the sh just hit the fan in a really satisfying way and the fights were goaded and i liked the setting i liked the premise i like a lot of the characters the wrath fight scenes were really cool yes he's just a goaded character clean pacing i gotta give this uh give this show a lot of props pretty big fan of, of brotherhood in particular and lastly no game no life i think everyone remembers that those two episodes were really good um episode what is it one or two and then episode six the shiratory episode is actually very hype i like the shiratory episode a lot unfortunately most of this show is kind of mid so i gotta put it in c or d should play chess more. They didn't even play chess. It wasn't even real chess. Does the incest aspect lower the rating for you? Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually incestuous? I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen No Game No Life. I don't remember. I don't like how they introduced this really cool setting and they just never got anywhere with it. You know what I mean? In the anime. I get it. You got to check out the light novels and all this nonsense if you really want to, if you really care about that sort of thing. But the main character tried to peek in the system in the hot tub. I don't remember that. I, I believe you. That sounds like, that sounds like it'd be on brand, but uh, yeah. I don't have a super strong opinion. The novel's like four times further along the anime. Only four times? That's actually less than I would have expected. That's actually less than I would have expected. Yeah, they should draw. I don't like the sister character. It's like, what the? Why do you need her? Would I watch season two if it came out? I would. Ultimately, I would. I ultimately would. And for that reason, maybe I should be putting it higher. But maybe I should put it higher. Eh, I'll leave it where it is. This is the list. I think this is the list right here. Gaze at it in all of its splendor. This is the fucking list. This is where I'm at with it. I think it's fairly done. It's a list. You know? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in that tier for, for the aesthetics. Like, look, if I move it, look how ugly it looks. This pog. This weird champ. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna leave it in D. This is the list. This is the fucking list. Is it the perfect list? I would say yes. This is the perfect anime tier list with the constraints that I was provided. Are these ultimately my favorite anime? No, but are, but are these my favorite anime that are on this template? Then yes, that's where I'm at.